Hello everybody, um, I have another vacuum cleaner to show with my collection. This is my Hoover Wind Tunnel Air Lift. Um, I got this thing two to three years ago at Target. And yeah, I've owned it since, and it does a pretty good job. Um, they're still selling it today. Um, they have a Hoover Air Lift Lite, which is thinner. This is like the bigger model, like the deluxe. So, yeah. So, yeah, so down here at the floor head, as usual, we start. This is uh, the wind tunnel technology chamber area with Omic high adjustment, wind tunnel 3, three channel suction, Hoover logo, foot release. And then right here, I don't know if, I don't know, that's a scratch. I don't know how that scratch got there, but anyways, I'll get that with denatured alcohol. But anyways, it says right here, detachable lift canister. Hoover Air Lift, Air, or Air Lift, Algen Block Technology, um, right here is your dust bin, which you release right here, it says dust cup release, push that, pull out, and here's your bin, it may not look that big, but it holds a lot of dirt, and it has, what was that, I say, six cyclones, I think I counted, one, two, three, four, five, six, Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven cycles. So it's no, it's multi-cyclonic. Okay. Yeah. So on the bin, it says no loss of suction, easy rinse filter, lift canister convenience, right on the canister. On here, we have the washable sponge filter, or whatever you want to call it, material filter, but it's a foam squish filter, as you see. Um, the only bad thing about these filters is one day I'm vacuuming my dad's girlfriend's couch, which is red. There's some fuzz like at the bottom of it and some regular dirt, which is ridiculous. So as you see, there's still some red spots right there from it, but no big deal. And it just sits in this cage right here, the clear cage. And then you lift this for the HEPA exhaust filter. So that comes off. Then you squeeze these two tabs right here. As you see, it is dirty, but I'll clean it eventually. I've been cleaning it a lot, but it won't come out fair to refresh. And then, yeah, put that back in, snap it in, and then, um, try and line that up. Put that neck in there like that. Take your filter. Hold the filter. Where is that cool? Does that go this way? Yeah, it goes this way. Um... Now, actually, as I'm doing this, I was actually already making the video, and someone rudely interrupted me and called me from somewhere that I don't know, which screwed up everything, and I don't know how to edit, too, so, yeah, I'm not a happy camper about that, but anyways, yeah, down here, you push it to release the dust bin, all the dirt out, but I forgot to mention, um, up on here, you have your big red power button, and your on and off brush roll button tools you get are this little crevice tool guy right here. It just stores on the side like that. And then on the other side, we have this pet tool right here with rubber teeth. Which I like that poster too. I like how it looks. I don't know. I just like it a lot. Anyways, that just sits on the side of the vacuum like that. And then up here, you have your fancy-looking turbo brush, which I like a lot, as you can see right here. That just sits straight up on there, like that. And then you have your wand set up right here. With, if I can get it apart. Yeah, this wand set up right here. So you, you would stand all the way out and then you lock it into place. And then you have your angle tool, angle brush tool, which it comes with three heads to change out, which I like. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, this just sits on in the back. So the other tools you get is this other smaller one that has much of bristles that stick out like this. This is more stiffer than this. This is more softer. Then you have a rubberized pet tool right here that goes on the end of that. Um... Your hose is right here with the big button. Um, it's not that long because obviously it's a lift and stuff like that, but still a pretty decent sized hose for a lift model. Um, 
Yeah, so how you lift it away is, I don't wonder if you have to have the machine. Oh, duh, you, li you use that lift button right there. Like that, oh my God, that thing is heavy. I'm warning you right now, if you wanna buy this thing, it's heavy as heck. Um, yeah, so it lifts away like that. Then you have your long cord in the back right here. Quick cord release. Um, I can get it done done, thank you. Yeah, so there's your cord. Put that back up. And then, so, it's kinda of a little bit of tricky to get this thing back on. Um, so yeah, let me try that really quickly. Oh crap, there that goes. Anyways, yeah, it goes back on like that. Now, I wonder if this is normal for this machine. As you see, when this part lifts away, this is part of the machine that lifts away. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a gap in between there, and I, when I put this hose in, it really doesn't do much, so... I'm taking a while, I guess. Yeah, that's not really sealed, so I don't know how to fix that. It's in all the way, too, and I just hear loud, and I just hear the air seeping out of it. So, yeah, that ain't good at all. But, anyways, I don't know how to fix that problem. Someone knows, let me know. I don't know if it's all, I don't know if all of them are like that or what, but if they are, they are. That's how Hoover designed them. But anyways, let me scoot this back and let me put you guys down. Really quickly. <clears throat> uh, where am I going to put you guys? Mm -hmm. Right there is good. Hello. Um, yeah. This release is right here. Power switch is up here. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if you heard that scooping or not, but that's what I was talking about. So yeah, overall it does a pretty good job at cleaning the carpet, as you can see. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video of my Hoover Air Lift, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from me, and have a great day, everybody. Bye!